Let's talk about strategy for the scoring zone. You know, you're learning all these shots, but it's really important to pick the right shot in the right situation to give yourself the best chance to get up and down to be consistent. Right, so what I would tell you I see a lot of people doing is not taking the time to survey the green. You know, especially when you've got a green that's elevated and you can't really see the surface. I'm down below, I'm looking at this shot. It looks like I have no green to work with no matter what pin I had to go to, whether it's the front pin, the middle, or the back pin. Now this shot looks completely different. If I walk up and I look at what I actually have to do to hit the shot correctly and hit it close to the hole. So I'm going to walk up here and survey the green, and as I do this, I'm getting a completely different perspective of what this green really looks like and what the ball needs to do to get close to the hole. So as I walk up here and look at this, I'll get all the way up to the top, the crest of the hill, and then I look back at the ball where the ball is, and now I start to visualize the whole shot. I can't really do this from down there, but from, down, from the ball, from up here, I can see and imagine if I want to go to that red pin, I can see a high arcing shot that lands on the front of the green stop softly. If I want to get close to the pin, I'm going to need a high slider. Now again, high slider is high risk. I might make the decision depending on where I'm at on the round or my level of play, where I'm going to go ahead and hit that normal trap shot, the low risk shot, and accept that if I land the ball in the front, it's going to release and I might have a 10 or 15 footer. But again, I don't worry about short siding myself and scooping the ball and leaving it back in here. Now, what's really interesting though, is the white pin and the blue pin look completely different from here than they look from down there. I've got a good 40 feet of green to work with to the white pin and probably 60 feet of green to work with to the blue pin. No way do I need to hit a high slider to that white pin to get close. I can easily trap the golf ball with a lofted wedge, L wedge or sand wedge, trap shot, gives me a lot better chance to get close to the hole without the risk of a high slider. So my point, make sure that you walk up, survey the green, look at the shot, try to imagine trajectory, landing spot, release, and you'll be much more certain when you're over the golf ball. If you're certain and you're committed, you can be confident and you'll be more consistent.